Okay, we now have a patient who is in a second degree heart block. This patient, as you can see, has a heart rate of 30. They still have a pulse, but they're symptomatic and so we want to treat them. We've tried some atropine on this patient. However, it doesn't seem, the patient doesn't seem to be responding to the medication. So we want to uh, think about doing some cardiac pacing on this patient. And um, always with pacing, you always want to remember it's a very painful process for your patient. So if you have time to get an IV inserted and give them some uh, medication like some Versed or Valium, something like that to kind of sedate them, that's a really great idea. Okay, so here again, we have placed the uh, pads on our patient so that we can um, pace, and you also will need your ECG leads on the chest as well. Okay, so to run the pacer, very easy. You see that the bottom section of the uh, defibrillator says pacer, and there's a series of, of a couple buttons underneath that that we're going to use to um, turn the pacer on. So go ahead and let's turn the pacer on. Okay, and notice we have a rate that comes up at 60. That's default on this machine. If we want to increase that rate, and many places go up to about a rate of 70 to 80 to pace, we're going to go to 80, and then you want to increase the current, the button below. So go ahead and let's start increasing our current. And what you're looking for is a pacer spike to appear. And then what we, there are some pacer spikes, and now what we're looking to see is we want to see a corresponding QRS complex after that pacer spike on each spike. We're going to keep increasing that current until we see a pacer spike followed by a QRS complex. And this is what they refer to as capture. Okay. Now, we would want to check to see if our patient had a pulse with that. And um, yes, they do have a pulse. We'd want to check in the femoral artery, not the carotid artery, because sometimes the muscle can spasm and um, lead you to misbelieve. So we're going to go up 10 more uh, after we've uh, reached capture. And there we are. We are pacing this patient. Now this is a transcutaneous pacing. It is a temporary thing, and you would want to take your patient to the cath lab to have a transvenous pacer uh, placed. So here again, your cardiologist would be in charge of that. But you've got the patient um, stabilized at this point. You'd want to check their blood pressure and um, prepare them for transport. Okay, very good. Thanks.